Today, we're gonna be screen printing on some jeans and we're gonna be making some posters. It's kind of tricky because we're doing a print over the both legs. This is what I got for poster paper. It's literally just poster paper from Target. I bought it yesterday for $3 a pack of like 10 of them. I am actually going to load up a shirt first, print the shirt so I can see where the design lays. I learned this from watching Unfinished Legacy videos. Really, really good videos. Here's how the snake comes out. It comes out super clean. And that's just gonna be my under base to like know where I'm gonna place stuff once it comes time to print these posters and pants. So now that I've brought everything around like 215-ish, it doesn't have to be fully cured. Just make sure that it's dry to the touch so that if I lay something on top of it, it doesn't transfer any ink. Cure it all again, and then we'll start printing these posters and on the jeans. So now we have like the actual print on a t-shirt on the palette. So I'll just load up the piece of paper where I want the print to end up on and print, you know, let's do it. That came out super clean. Now, curing this, we have to be careful because it is paper and, oh, that bent a little bit right there. I didn't expect that to happen. It's okay, I can always cut off that part. Um, it is paper, so we don't want it to, to burn, of course. So I'm gonna do it slow and steady to like 200. It'll be dried to the touch at 200, but it, it's not like fully cured. It won't fully adhere. That's only a problem if you're actually gonna wash something, if you're gonna put water on it and with paper. Most people don't put paper in the washing machine <laughs> that I know of. Slow and steady that wins the race, am I right? Now I'm gonna print the never and the enough separately. So how I'm gonna do that is that I'm gonna just gonna grab this paper towel. So I'm gonna lay it on top of the part that I don't wanna print yet. So that way the ink doesn't come through. See how that came out. Looks like it all cleared. Mm, the R didn't clear fully. So I'll give it one more go at the R. Oh, actually, it's not centered anymore. So I'm just going to leave it like that. That's how that came out. So I just now need to make sure that the next one I do. I really go over it confidently and make sure that I clear all the ink. So I'm gonna cover up where the never ends up and print where the enough is. And it looks like it will end up on the snake or after where this crease happened because of the screen. I, I don't think I can bend that back into place. I'll just have to cut that part off. And I think I'll print the enough somewhere like here around the, the snake's tail. So let's find, oh, if I do it that low, then it's gonna crease on top of the print. So maybe I'll just have to print on top of its tail right there. There's a little bit of not, no ink is coming through on the E. There we go. So now, unfortunately, I do have to press down and it'll crease the page a little bit there, but it's fine. One pass, two passes, one confident one. See how that turns out. Looks like it cleared almost everything. Oh yeah, that looks clean. Very nice. Cure that, and then we have a poster. There is the result. Never enough on there. Again, it decreased down there, but I'm just gonna cut that part off. Very nice, I like it. 
Now let's print on the jeans. I am gonna heat press them before I actually print on them just to make sure that they're perfectly flat, which for the most part, they look very flat. We just wanna triple and double check. There won't be any wrinkles to print over. I'm setting it to 300, really flattened out. I'm actually pressing down. I already heat pressed them. They're all super flat. Um, we're gonna be printing on both legs. So I'm just gonna lay them one next to the other. And I kind of want the main part of the snake to be on the right leg a little bit more. So since there is a big seam right here, it's gonna be a little bit tricky and controversial at the same time because a lot of people don't like this, but I'm gonna wiggle my squeegee a lot. <laughs> There's not really much I can do about it. You'll see here in a second what I mean by wiggle my squeegee a lot. This could be a disaster too because yesterday the way I did it was that I just eyeballed it and used some basting adhesive to stick the, sh the pants onto the pallet so they won't move. But um, this will also work hopefully. Just gotta make sure that I get it the first time around. I'm really pressing down on these to make sure that I get all the way through to the fabric. You can see that most of this whole thing already cleared. It's just here in the middle and these parts that haven't cleared yet. So I'll just go at them again with the squeegee, make sure that it all gets passed onto there. And of course I might not be able to get everything on there, but we'll, I'll try my best. It won't come out perfect, but that's, gives it a cool look. Now for the big reveal, let's see. Yeah, so some of this whole line didn't come out. Down here, the part didn't come out. So I'll just make sure that it's all still like registered and I'll go over it one more time and I think it should work. I'll just clamp down a little bit harder. A lot of people don't like me doing this, but you know, it can damage the screen in the long run. And for this part, I know that I'll just kind of go like that, really get in there. And I think that should have done it. Let's see. Yeah, that, that did work a lot. This part isn't coming out that good. This part isn't coming out that good. And I think I've already lost registration with that pass for the most part. So if I go over it again, it just won't come out that great. So that's what we have. I think it looks sick though. You can see what parts, like some of the rattle didn't come out that great. There's a huge line there because of the off contact. But if you get a good, good lay on the jeans, then it should work perfectly. And now I'm just gonna cure the whole thing, line up where I want the text. So now, I've cured everything just really quickly with the heat gun. I'm still gonna run it through the heat press to make sure that everything really does cure. And now I'm just gonna line up where I want the never, which is right there. And this one should be nice and easy because we're only doing one leg. Just gotta make sure I grab my paper towel and set it down on top of the other leg. Uh, you can also use the shadow made by light to see where the text will, will land, which is pretty cool. I'll show you guys. This will let light through and you can see it on the pants. As you bring it down, you can see it right there where it's gonna land. So it's gonna land a little bit on the seam, but I think it'll look cool. Grab my big squeegee, get a little bit of ink, flood the never. I'm gonna really clamp down, do a couple passes, really make sure that everything gets passed onto the pants. There we go. Check it. But that looks clean. I'm gonna make sure it's dry to the touch so that way once I move it, 
if it touches anything, the ink won't move around. Grab the other leg and line up the enough, which I think that should be like right underneath the snake leg. Snake, the snake doesn't have legs, right underneath the snake. You can see that that's where it is, right there. And that's where it's gonna go, right here, like that. And we're just gonna check and see where the shadow is. And that looks good. So now I'm gonna bring it all the way down. I'm gonna flood it. Get some more ink to flood everything. I'm gonna clamp down a little bit and go at it. Go ahead and check and see how that came out. Looks like some of the E might have not come out that well. Okay. Yeah, you can see that the E didn't come out that well and the M didn't come out that well. It hasn't moved at all, so I'm just going to bring it back down and do one more pass right here on the N and the E to really use the corner of my squeegee to push it. That helped. I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to get it. That looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna cure it and then move it over to the heat press. Is it pretty good? I like using the heat press and actually stamp it down so that way it's flush with the garment, but that's just a personal preference. And now I'm just gonna do the other leg and the rest of the snake. So here's how all of these came out. A pair of bull heads. These are actually 33 by 32 a pair of bull heads. These came out sick. Um, these are 38 by 30. These are Levi 505s, straight leg. And these are 38 by 30. And I believe they are Wrangler jeans. So they're very rugged. Yeah, Wrangler. But all these are available on the website if you want to pick one, a pair of these up if you fit the size. The link is going to be in the description if you want to pick one of these up.